welcome to my first video and let me tell you about the challenge that we've got for this complete game series. It's my intention to compile a, a bunch of videos, a playlist of videos of me playing the arc on a solo with maximum difficulty settings. I am going to do a separate video by the way about um, the difficulty settings but we've put it up to max difficulty level settings and this, I, I hope that this is the start of a really good let's play and I hope um, you're all on board with me because that'd be great, it'd be great. Wow, we're on the island in Ascended and well, I've just got back from work and I had to get a video out. So today I'm just, I've just spawned a Phylocolio in. We're going to have a look around the new map, the new island map. I'm just at Helena Note 5, which is just opposite the Red Obelisk. And I guess we better go through the settings on my PC. Well, specs wise, I've got an AMD Ryzen 7 3700X, 32 gig of RAM and an RTX 3090. We're running this at 1080p and all the settings are on high. And well, yeah, we're not going to get 60 frames a second. And I think that's the case with most people here. It's, uh, it's certainly going to need some uh, optimizing. Now, I did have to put the shadows back onto Epic because I was getting this chromatic aberration effect and uh, putting them back up to Epic seems to have sorted it. And I've got to tweak it. There's things I've got to tweak and they've got to tweak for sure. But it looks, it looks great. I'm so happy that they've put some love into the island map. It always was my f favorite map and just everything, all the foliage, everything looks so different but it's still the island and oh, let's check out the fire effects as well. Now you'll probably notice I've got me frame counter in the corner there so you can keep an eye on the on the frames but yeah you'll see it will dip red occasionally and within the settings it's got something about performance mode and all of these things that are probably more going to be for the console part of it i'm sure that uh, we'll be able to tweak things a little bit more um but this you know this is like literally day one this is what we're looking at and i remember arc on day one and uh, yeah Day one arc, that, that trike would have rubber banded into the stratosphere. <laughs> but things actually kind of fall down now with kind of, you know, some physics to it, some weight. And that's, that's great. Now, I'm on single player. We've not been able to get a server up and running. Of course, there's issues with that. Just had a little dip there, if you noticed. Just went into the red. Um... But we will be getting a server and I will be diving into this, of course, properly. I know I haven't earned this file of Collio, but look at this. Look at this. Now, I know I was hoping that they would do something with the water. I know what Unreal 5 is capable of with the water physics, but check it out. We have water physics and oh, it's just, you know, we jump in there, we get a splash. It's looking great. It's looking great. And I'll be diving into a proper review, at least as of the settings, because it just so happens that the minimum spec machine, which is a 1080 and a 5th gen i7, um, I've got them parts and I'm building a computer with them parts anyway. So I'll actually have their recommended parts and their minimum recommended parts. So I'll boot it up and we'll do a sort of comparison. But I reckon... And I've got the Strix version of the 1080. 
I mean, if this is what it's doing to the 3080, yeah. <laughs> 1080, um, okay. That's minimum. Oh, and look, yeah, we, we do have tree physics. It works, it looks great. Um, <laughs> I know I caught New Blitz video before he put the trailer on and then there was some, some footage of some stuff that didn't look good. But I guess that was, uh, yeah, definitely... <laughs> it, you're going to need a beast of a rig for this. But look at it. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I'm just going through the swamp. Now, the night time. Wow. And hey, this is different. Just get rid of these leeches. I'll probably cut, cut the, uh, the that swamp bit out because I don't know if you can see it. But I haven't gammered up here. And the moonlight, it looks great. That's so much more immersive, and that's one thing that I hated about the original arc, the way shadows worked, but this is great. I hope it comes across in YouTube okay. I know I'm not spending too much time on the creatures, because obviously we've seen the wrecks, um, we've seen all the creatures that are the same. It's the island, really, that, that I'm kind of looking at here, and I'm sort of getting lost. I'm sort of going, I, know, I know where I am, but... It's just everything looks so different. And um, yeah, if you're playing this on single player, uh, by the way, definitely um, don't put it on easy because this Philo is really overpowered that I spawned in. Um, I, it doesn't tell me what the numbers are, so I just pressed easy. <laughs> and yeah, don't play on easy. Okay, let's head this way. Oh. Oh, rain, rain, okay. I know I'll probably sound a little bit excited there, but if there's w one thing that does my head in about Ark, it's the weather. And when it just starts raining, it's just a screen that goes over the top of your screen. It, this looks like it's gradually coming in like weather should. And, ah, oh, this is awesome. Okay, yeah, it's starting to get heavy. Oh, and we got lightning, thunder. Ah, oh, yes. Love it. I'm just trying to look see if there's puddles and stuff gathering or if there's getting a sheen. It's difficult to see at night, but oh, it's, it's nice just having a torch and not having to gamma up and down. It was a little bit dark in the swamp, but I mean that's to be expected with everything overhanging. But, oh yeah, look look at look at this. It's just the bioluminescent glow of the green obelisk in the distance there it just looks awesome. Well, you know what that should be up ahead. Herbie Island. It should be Herbie Island. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We're in the right spot. I had to come here first. I mean, I don't know where was where was you guys gonna go first down below in the comments. What's the first thing you're checking out? I have to come to Herbie Island. Um, but it's a it's a landmark that I know you'll all clearly know, and it's got the horseshoe shape. And look at the lightning and thunder. Oop, just map. <laughs> That's the map, by the way. It's looking very very different. Okay. Listen to that. It's the Bronto. The sound of the Bronto's feet has been updated and changed, and it works in, well, proper stereo if it's in the distance, but oh, it just sounds great. The thunder, the weather. Now, this is metal. Just want to see if, just see if it blows up into a load of squares and just shoots off into oblivion. To the nether realm. <laughs> actually looks cool actually, the, the metal rock. No, yeah, no, it's falling down. Okay. Nice. Oh, that thunder. Well, look at this, look at this. Can you see underneath the Bronto's feet here as it puts its foot down? I, 
awesome. The sound that they make in the distance, they sound great. It's just, um, oh, what's that? Hey, look, we've got baby trike. So I know you can tame the babies now. I think you just have to kill the parents to take take them on. But yeah, you can you can raise little ones now. That's really cool. I like that. It's a new way to tame. I can't get over the sound of them them brontos. That this that is it's just awesome. <laughs> this is like my first reaction, obviously. Um, as you can hear, it's going into the distance now. It's just... If you've got the headphones on, it really is working in stereo. Oh, wow. Well, I kind of want to have a look at Kano Island as well as Herbie Island. But... Yeah, let's just chop some trees down so you can see. I mean... They all have like proper weight and Ah oh, looks great. Yeah. The uh the trees don't just fall apart. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, I can feel my computer getting hot. Okay, well still night time and I've just come across to Kano Island. We can't be far off of sunrise. So, let's see what we look like over here. And... Carlos. Just gonna run past it. Oh! Nice! Raptors got the classic Jurassic Park sound. Speaking of sounds... Carlos definitely got rid of, uh, got rid of its footprint sound. I don't know if it was actually making any sound as it was running towards me. You know, maybe some of this stuff is placeholders. Um, see with the racks, see if we can hear the footsteps of the racks. Um, yep. Music. Yeah, I think I've definitely got rid of it. Is that... Yeah, it's got a baby Rex underneath it, so it's got stock, has it? But... Yeah, they've got rid of the, um, the feet. I mean, even the babies used to have, um, the, the same sound effect on them. It used to sound really, really deep, so they must be in the process of changing that. But here we go, sunrise on Kano Island. Check it out. Oh, what's that down by the tree? Um, I, ooh, looks like looks like something's clipping through from um, the cave down below. Don't think I'm supposed to be there, but oh, it, it just looks great. It just looks absolutely fantastic. I know. It's really going to be tanking performance. This is what I was hoping to see. This is really what I was hoping to see. I just know that... I, I would say most people are probably rocking around what I'm using now. I'd say somewhere between a, a 20, 70... Oh, shut up, rock well. Yeah, what I was going to say is I think most people will be using something like a 2070 onwards. I'd say that's the average kind of card. And um, for, for, for most at the moment, certainly on the Discord, I know a few people who've got, you know, various different cards. But I'd say around the 2070 is kind of that average mark. And I don't know how that's going to perform. Um, I have a friend who's got that card, so I will ask her. But, yeah, <laughs> um, y yeah, yeah, okay, so it doesn't look like I can get the Philo in here, but they've changed all this. Doesn't it look great with the mushrooms? Just kind of, everything's lighting up. 
everything moving around as you step over it as well, the grass. Okay, let's, well, let's do some spelunking then. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> well, the water's, um, perhaps the water's not working yet. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to add that bit. Okay, I just GCM'd. I just wanted to have a quick poke in the cave. I, I know I shouldn't without a Philo, but everything is looking, you know, shadow wise and depth. I can hear an echo as well in the cave. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> the sound of the shotgun, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> the sound of the shotgun in that cave. Wow. I'm sorry if I deafened you everyone there. And uh, that's kind of where I think I'll end it. But, yeah. I mean, the weather. Oh, they've sorted out the weather. And I think the island looks great. I can't wait to explore it properly and uh, look at some of these caves. As always, a huge thank you to my patrons. I'm sorry, this was just a really quick first look and I'm gonna be getting a server up and running. Of course, I'm gonna be doing lots of guides and uh, lots more on Ark Survival Ascended. But until next time, I'm James and I'll see you.